certainly means enough evidence to go forward with the trial. All right, let's get you back here to Louisiana. Other statewide races like the Attorney General's race will be here before we know it. The candidates are using what time they have left to kind of get their message out to you. Three of the four candidates met today for a forum to discuss their plans. Capital correspondent Chris Rosado was there. He joins us now. Chris. Yeah, that's right, guys. So the three candidates who showed up today each had a chance to share their vision and reason for why they're running. They also took several questions from the audience. Four candidates are now in the race for state attorney general, three Republicans and John Belton as an independent. Solicitor General to Attorney General Jeff Landry's office, Liz Merle, says she'll never stop fighting federal overreach when it comes to your civil liberties, and that her time working at the Attorney General's office has given her the opportunity to learn how to do the job right. It's something that we can never afford um, to stop fighting for. Um, it, is, it is easy to lose and it is extremely hard to ever get it back if you can get it back. As a civil trial attorney since 1991 and the owner of a civil law firm in Port Allen, Martin Malley says his experience handling almost every kind of crime on the books makes him the best candidate. Vice president of the largest pro bono victims group in the state, crime fighters, Pr very proud of that. Well seasoned and plenty of life lived and country wisdom to serve you. That's me. In third is State Representative John Stefanski. The lawyer and lawmaker from Crowley says his number one focus will be one that's not typical of the Attorney General, which is crime. But if you don't get crime under control, you're not going to be able to recruit jobs. You're not going to be able to improve. It doesn't matter how well you improve the tax code and education and all of these issues if we don't get crime under control. All three of today's candidates say the current working relationship between Governor John Bell Edwards and Attorney General Jeff Landry is a clear indicator of how important it is that the Attorney General and the Governor get along. I just don't think we can afford to not be on the same page, but I know from personal experience what it's like to not have the help um, and the collaboration of the, um, the executive branch, and I know what it's like to have the collaboration with the Attorney General's office and the executive branch. You take the facts, you take the law, you take the policy and you put it together and you got to come out with the right conclusion. Every time. Every time. I have no desire whatsoever to fight with another elected official. I can work with anybody and I think my history in the legislature will show you that. I've been a coalition builder since I've been there because honestly, the only way you can make these huge impactful changes is to get everyone on board. Today's forum was specifically for Republicans. After I reached out to independent John Belton for comment, he tells me, I want the attorney general's office to place greater emphasis on crime prevention by pushing mentoring programs that actually help at-risk students to get a high school diploma. The correlation between crime and the lack of education is obvious when you look at the percentage of inmates who do not have a high school diploma. So Election Day is coming up on October 14th, and you can catch Belton's full statement on the 9 News app. Liz, Greg, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you for that. Appreciate it.